Hello everyone, welcome back. So today we are going to create a dice in After Effects and that will be a 3D dice actually. Uh, we know very well that After Effects is not a 3D software. It is not all 3D software. It is a 2.5D software. So we can just fake a 3D uh, object but uh, we, can't, uh, we can't create that. Okay, so with the help of uh, the solids we are going to create a solid 3d solid uh, dice and then then let's see how it is coming okay so let's get started so here i am with the after effects that is uh, 2020 so for that the final uh, output will be in, in full hd uh, but uh, uh, as we know very well that the dice is a Q is a cube not a cuboid so that means every side uh, should be a square and we are going to take uh, every square to be of uh, 500 500 pixels okay so uh, let's take a, a comp of 500 by 500 so creating a comp we can go here and we can go create a comp from here otherwise we can press ctrl n and then that will be a comp so we will take 500 by 500 that is the size of the comp so this is this is a comp of 500 by 500 pixels so we will also take a, a ruler along with that and for that we will press ctrl r so our ruler is here that is this is 0 and this is 500 pixels this is 0 and this is 500 pixels okay so we will uh, now i am going to tell you how we are going to create this we are going to create one side okay and then we are going to create uh, maybe we, we, are, we are going to duplicate uh, the, uh, the the side and then uh, we are going to create six sides you know one by one by duplicating the first side only okay so that maybe less time will be consumed there so this is first side okay and for each side of the cube for each side of the dice, we are going to take a different color. Okay, so this will be a multicolor dice, not a single color dice, and then all the all the numbers will be there. But the numbers will be white. Okay, for that we'll be using uh, shape layer. Okay, and uh, for uh, the side we will take solid uh, layer. Okay, so now this is first one, and this the comp one. Okay, so we'll go here and plus enter and uh, name it side 01 enter okay so that is side 01 so we'll come in the timeline and then we will press ctrl y for the side and we will take because we have taken a comp of 500 by 500 so when we are going to take side okay solid side the solid okay that is again going to give us 500 500 if it is not coming like that if it is giving us some other value then you can click here and this will make the solid to be of the comp size okay and we will take some color here so you can take any random color here so we will take uh, maybe some random color here and then press ok and then we have the side okay so we uh, because we are going to create in a you know proper manner so what we are going to do we are going to take some uh, some guides and then along with the help of the guides we are going to create this okay so uh, we are going to create numbers in the form of these circles and for that we are going to leave uh, maybe some guides here so this is 0 and this is 100 so we will take uh, this at 100 we will we will add some you know uh, some guides here this is 100 and this is at 400 and this is at 100 and this is at 400 like this okay and uh, this is the center so okay we can take it here also okay this is and this is like so if you want to change the color if you want to change the color of the solid because i am unable to see the guides properly so if you want to change the color of the side of the solid okay what we can do we can press ctrl shift y okay and then we can change the color so i will change the color a little bit okay 
so that we can see it properly okay so now we can see that properly okay so now this is not here this this must be here this is 100 okay so now everything is set and now i am going to create number one of the dice okay and for that uh, what i will do i will take uh, i will take a solid and then ellipse and then create this thing so shift and circle and this will be fine and we'll make it white okay we'll make it white press v okay and snap it in the so i'll go to view and uh, then i'll see whether snapping is on on or not so it must be on by default here okay so this will be snapped in the center okay so that is first side of the dice okay and now we are going to create other side right so how we are going to do that so when we have created this side we are going to we have to create five more sides of this how we are going to do it we will go here in the project window okay and duplicate it here okay so press ctrl d okay and double click at side 02 double click here and then we are going to see side 02 and here we are we have just to do what we have to do we have to uh, we have to we have to just okay i i am going to this uh, take this anchor point maybe in the center of the shape and for that i am going to press control alt and home button and that will be you know centered in the center of the circle okay so i am going to duplicate the side go uh, duplicate the shape layer and control d and then we will snap one of them here and the other will be here okay so now this is number two and select the solid this one ctrl shift y to change the setting and then take some other color okay so now this is now that we have one that is double click one and now we have this double click that is two and now we are going to uh, select this side 0 2 and then ctrl d that is duplicate so that is double click on this and we'll see side 0 3 so what we have to do we have just to take this thing ctrl d to duplicate it and then snap this one in the center so this is number three okay select the side select the solid layer and ctrl shift y to change the settings and then we will are going to change the color and take any random color from here okay so this is number three okay so now we'll go here in the same manner that is control d and double click on this and this is number four so we can we can do one more thing we can we can delete them here uh, they are not needed anymore so just cross them and they'll be gone okay we can also cross it here we will so cross it here and then we'll be left with on the side zero four okay so side zero four so what we will do we will come here and then ctrl d and then snap it here and then snap this here and snap this here and then snap this here so this is four okay and select the solid ctrl shift y and change the color make it little lighter you can take any color you wish okay now this is four Control T, okay, double click on this. We are in five. Take any one of them, Control D, and then snap it here. This is five. Select this one, Control Shift Y, and change the color. Okay, so one more is left, that is five. At this is Control Y, and double click here and then select this one ctrl d and then we'll take it here and then snap it here and this is six okay so now in that manner we have uh, sorry select this one solid layer okay and ctrl shift y and change the color okay so that is six so we don't need this we can remove them 
and now what i will do i will take one more one more um one more composition and the name of the composition will be dice okay so control y again sorry control n and the name will be dice dice and that will be 500 by 500 so that is a blank layer that is a blank composition what i will do i will select one to six all the sides one to six all the sides and we will drop them in this composition the name of the composition is dice okay so now here we have to create that dice okay in 3d not in 2d okay so now we, I will come to this this area and here we can see we will switch on the 3D part of all the layers or you can just you can just click here and drag it down and they all will be converted into 3D and now what I will do I will change that into two I will divide the whole composition into two part and here I'll come in view and select two views horizontal in that manner I'll be able to see uh, this is the top part and this is the active camera part active camera is maybe even if I don't have a camera this will be uh, this will be active camera okay that is the front view actually so this is top view and all the all the sides these all the sides are here okay maybe uh, in 2020 in After Effects 2020 there are so many changes which are done so maybe I'll come up with some in some other tutorial with all the all the changes uh, which are there in this one okay but for now we are not doing that okay so what i have to do i want to change the then the uh, the angles and all that to create that thing so i will come here and then press r after i have changed them into 3d press r and then i will rotate that in the y rotation that is 90 degrees okay and then that will be because we know the side of the composition and size of the uh, this thing is uh, same uh, 500 by 500 and i will take it here uh, towards the end of this okay and then i will take second one close this one i will take second one press r and go in the y rotation make it 90 degrees make it 90 degrees and then we will take it here towards the other side and in that manner we have to we have to maybe we have to assemble them in the form of a dice okay and by by doing that but in the process of doing that we'll have to get into top uh, top view and maybe in the left view or right view so that we can we can be able to see all the changes which are happening we can we can see that from the active camera or we can go and see that thing from the custom view these are some you know these are some more views some maybe pre pre-made views which are there and we can see you know how the things are changing in the in the process so i'll come here and i'll take it towards this side and then i'll take this one and i'll take this here little down okay so two more are left so i will select from here so now uh, it will be difficult for me to make the changes from here so i will go and make it the left view and now we can we can see you know how we can change the things here so what we have to do we have to go in the in the x axis okay in the x axis because this is the x axis so we have to go in the x axis and change in the 90 degrees so i will go and press r and go in the x axis x rotation and make it 90 degrees okay and now we can change that value here so i can take that value here down and one more is left so also change the value to 90 degree x axis and take it up and now the dice is complete okay a small maybe changes are there we can we can go very close to them and we can make those changes also see so when go you go very close to them you can make the changes if you want to make a small changes then you can you can maybe uh, use up arrow or down arrow in doing so 
okay so if you press shift that will be that will be maybe going 10 pixels if you do it only up arrow and down arrow that will be one pixel so in that way you can do that shift down arrow okay okay so in that manner we can do maybe you know all the changes there so now this is the dice and now we will take the final composition and that will be 1920 and 1080 so i will come here control n and that will be 1920 1920 and 1080 1080 that is full hd okay so frame rate will be 25 and maybe total time is 10 seconds so today we are not going to maybe animate this that is just to creating that thing we can also do that maybe animation also so what i will do now here we have this dice so i will take the dice composition and i will drop it here okay this is completely procedural Completely procedural means you can do any kind of changes going inside any of the part and you can make the changes. You can make change the color, you can change the number of uh, the number the numbers and all that so that all the possibilities are there. So here this thing is here. So we will change that into 90 degree and now we will see that we are unable to see the dice even if we have converted that into 3D. Okay, why that is happening? Because we have to rasterize it. We have to see that change happening at every at every pixel and for that we will go here and then click at this button this button okay so that is collapse transformation okay and uh, continuously that will continuously rasterize the size uh, the the dice okay so here we can see that the way we are only able to see only you know a flat image which, which is not flat actually but we are unable to see it so when you click on this one will be able to see the dice and that is in the form of maybe a single uh, layer in the form of a single layer and then we can move that we can rotate that we can do all the changes which are whichever are necessary to do the changes okay so so that's that's the dice and uh, maybe i can go to i can press r and then i can make all the changes and I can make all the animation whichever is possible if you want to do that okay so the in, in the next uh, chapter in the next uh, tutorial maybe I am going to do that okay I am going to animate the same dice which is here okay so uh, in this one uh, that is all for now thank you very much Hello,